How do you transform a desert into a highway? Well, China has done just that, turning what seemed like an impossible challenge into a remarkable triumph. Desertification, a massive environmental threat that engulfs over 27% of the country, has long plagued China's landscape, economy, and daily life. But the country didn't sit back and let the sand win. Instead, China took bold action, tackling this crisis head on with initiatives that have left the world in awe, and maybe a little jealous. In recent years, China has achieved the unthinkable, completing major transportation projects through some of the world's most hostile deserts, like the Gobi and the notorious Taklamakan. These achievements didn't just build roads, they paved the way for a greener future. Using cutting edge afforestation techniques, China has been reclaiming desert lands on an astonishing scale, and the numbers don't lie. In 2020 alone, China planted over 7 million hectares of trees, boosting its forested land to 70.4 million hectares. This effort doesn't just combat desertification, it's also a powerful tool in the fight against climate change, with the newly planted forests absorbing carbon and reducing soil erosion. But perhaps the crown jewel of these efforts is the construction of a 522-kilometer highway through the heart of the Taklamakan Desert. Starting in 2017, this monumental project took four years to complete. It wasn't just a road, this was an engineering marvel that faced nature's worst. From towering sand dunes to relentless sandstorms, the highway had to be built to last. Engineers meticulously analyzed the desert terrain, leveled massive dunes, and reinforced the roadbed with layers of gravel, asphalt, and concrete. But the real challenge? Keeping the sand out. To do that, they installed 58 million square meters of grass grids and 900 kilometers of sand fences, holding back the desert's relentless advance. This isn't just about infrastructure. It's about defying the odds, turning barren wastelands into vital arteries of progress. South Xinjiang Railway. At the same time, while China was tackling the challenges of building roads through deserts, another incredible project was underway, the South Xinjiang Railway. Stretching across a staggering Shekutu 213 kilometers, this railway cuts through the heart of the Taklamakan Desert, connecting the cities of Hotan and Kashgar in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. Construction began in 2009 and took seven years to complete, with a total investment of about $5.9 billion. But this wasn't just a simple railway project. It was a testament to human ingenuity in the face of nature's harshest elements. Engineers had to overcome a desert environment known for its extreme heat, sandstorms, and shifting dunes. They built 2,207 bridges and 23 tunnels, laying 1,100 kilometers of track that would run across some of the most unforgiving terrain on Earth. Before laying a single rail, the ground had to be carefully prepared. This involved leveling, compacting, and stabilizing the desert soil to create a solid foundation. To ensure long-term stability, a layer of gravel was added, and the tracks were laid on a bed of crushed stone, effectively distributing the weight of the railway and safeguarding it from the shifting sands. But the challenges didn't stop there. The scorching desert heat threatened to harden the concrete too quickly, so engineers used specialized quick-drying concrete. Cooling systems were also put in place to protect workers, and shade tents offered much-needed relief from the relentless sun. To battle the desert's winds and the constant threat of sand erosion, an eco-friendly solution was implemented along the railway's southern edge. Engineers planted nearly 13 million shrubs and trees forming a green barrier to slow down the wind and trap the shifting sands. On top of that, an automated irrigation system, controlled by smartphone technology, kept the plants alive in the harsh conditions. This green sand prevention corridor is part of a larger national initiative to combat desertification. With 50 million square meters of grass grids and millions of saplings lining the route, solar power plants, at the same time that oil-rich Qatar is embracing a new era in energy, a groundbreaking project has been quietly reshaping its landscape, a solar power plant, the country's first. Located about 80 kilometers west of the capital, this massive undertaking is Qatar's bold step into a sustainable future. And it's no small feat. With over 2 million solar panels spread across 10 square kilometers, this $487 million project, developed in collaboration with three Chinese companies, 
is a critical milestone in Qatar's journey toward clean energy. The fanfare surrounding the plant's inauguration was hard to miss, attended by some of the most powerful figures in the country, including the Emir of Qatar and the Prime Minister. This was a sign that one of the world's largest producers of oil and gas is starting to see beyond fossil fuels. For decades, Qatar's fortunes have been tied to the energy it pulls from beneath the earth. But as the world shifts toward a low-carbon future, so too must Qatar. And this solar project is the cornerstone of their ambitious plan to get 20% of their electricity from renewable sources by 2030. At the heart of this transformation is the al Qursa solar power plant, a marvel of modern engineering. Chinese companies bringing cutting-edge technology to the region played a pivotal role. They didn't just build a solar farm, they innovated. By using advanced robotics to clean the panels, they increased the system's efficiency by 20%. The scale of this is astounding. More than half of the $417 million investment was poured into these automated cleaning systems, ensuring that the solar panels remain operational even in the desert's harsh conditions. According to Li Jian, the plant's construction director, this is a game changer for renewable energy, not just in Qatar, but across the Middle East. Qatar might be a newcomer to the solar scene, but they're catching up fast and their success might set the stage for more investments in clean energy across the region. But Qatar isn't the only one harnessing the sun's power in the desert. China, already a global leader in renewable energy, has been doing something remarkable along the Tarim Desert Highway. This road stretches across 532 kilometers of the vast Taklamakan Desert, a seemingly barren landscape that now holds a powerful secret. Along the highway, China has been planting trees, millions of them, since 2005, using water pumped from underground to stabilize the shifting sands. Initially, they relied on diesel pumps to keep the trees alive. But starting in 2010, the country began a revolutionary experiment using solar power to replace diesel. Today, 86 solar power plants are under construction along the Tarim Desert Highway, harnessing the sun's energy to pump water and irrigate the vegetation strips that protect the road from desert encroachment. These solar plants are a crucial part of China's push toward carbon neutrality, reducing emissions while also safeguarding one of the most hostile environments on Earth. The solar panels designed to last for 25 years are equipped with energy storage units that can keep the pumps running for up to seven hours, even on cloudy days. It's a shining example of how clean energy can solve real-world problems, and it shows that the future of power, whether in Qatar or China, belongs to the sun fighting desertification. Furthermore, China has been battling the relentless spread of desertification for years, and now it's seeing dramatic results. Once barren landscapes are being turned into thriving green spaces, thanks to cutting-edge techniques and massive investments in ecological restoration, roads and railways are being fortified with grass barriers and lush vegetation, stopping the sands in their tracks and creating vital green belts where once there was only dust. The numbers tell a powerful story. Since 2012, China has reduced 4.33 million hectares of desertified land, reversing what seemed like an unstoppable trend. More than half of the desert land has been restored, a feat that seemed impossible just decades ago when desertification was expanding by 1.4 million hectares annually. Now through reforestation efforts, 64 million hectares of trees have been planted pushing back the sands and creating a greener, more resilient China. But the battle doesn't stop at numbers. Take Inner Mongolia's seventh largest desert, for example, a place once known for its harsh, unforgiving terrain. Today, more than 640 hectares have been transformed into lush, vibrant landscapes, restoring biodiversity and improving the environment for local communities. This isn't just about saving the planet, it's changing lives. Over 100,000 people have been lifted out of poverty thanks to these ambitious projects, showing that fighting desertification can do more than heal the land. It can rebuild futures. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more incredible updates. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.